Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updated video this evening. I hope that you're doing great and we will be delving straight into what is currently going on across the Atlantic. There's a couple of tropical waves out there. Another will be emerging off Africa as we head into the early part of the new week and there is a lot more to come. Now models are showing something very interesting. The Euro model, the CMC, Canadian model showing something interesting as well. Even GFS hinting that we could see uh, something thing maybe affect the Caribbean some of these models showing multiple cyclones as we head to the latter part of the month so I will be delving into all that is going on and where it could possibly be impacted should something actually develop and so before I go into details please do subscribe and tap the bell so that you never miss an important video now here we are returning to this satellite imagery lots of showers and thunderstorms popping up across some spots this afternoon look at all that activity near africa but we will be getting to that in a moment we want to take a look at the caribbean and talk about what is happening here first so as we look across the caribbean basin right now there you can see lots of showers and thunderstorms developing in association with a tropical wave that is going to be entering the eastern pacific soon so lots of showers and thunderstorms across parts of uh eastern Honduras. Honduras, Nicaragua, even down to Costa Rica as well. There's lots of activity there. Even near the Cayman Islands, some thunderstorms was nearby Grand Cayman. Some of that is moving out, but we see that there's a lot of moisture in the area. So that is why we're seeing all these thunderstorms even extended up into parts of the northern Bahamas. And even over into parts of the Yucatan, there is some activity developing as well. Jamaica remains in the clear, just as I said this morning. The models were forecasting a lot less rainfall. So we find that today has been a pretty hot day for most parishes as we head over into hispaniola there is a bit of thunderstorm activity across uh, parts of the dominican republic similar story as we head to puerto rico but uh, some of that activity is moving out but there might be some more popping up across the island as we head throughout the rest of today and we also see that activity near uh the abc Alice. so let me know if you guys got any rain down there i know it has been pretty dry and hot and uh there is a tropical wave that is entering the caribbean so that is helping to induce some of this activity that we're seeing some occasional showers and thunderstorms just as i uh spoke about in this morning's update as we look to northern South America, lots of showers and thunderstorms just off uh, the coast of Panama, also Colombia, and even developing inland, uh, going over into Venezuela as well, even for parts of northern Guyana and Suriname. But for most areas, it has been pretty hot. It has been a pretty dry day, maybe even windy and hazy across some spots as well. Now, we want to go onto this surface chart here. Now, here we can see the axes of the tropical waves that are moving across the area that one about to enter the Caribbean. Actually, these axes should be a little bit more to the west that uh, next update is not yet in. So they're actually, the axes are actually a bit more to the west. And again, that next tropical wave will be emerging off Africa as we progress into the early part of the new week. And I think that we are really going to have to watch it very closely. Why do I say that? Let's go on to what models are expecting now. So we are starting out with GFS. And so this is actually as we're going to be heading into Friday, the 18th of August. So Friday of the new week, couple days well out from now. So uh, before I start, though, I want to say to you guys that we're looking into what could possibly happen. There are bound to be changes. But when we see a lot of models getting very consistent, about something developing in the long term they may be a bit off in the track or the intensity they, uh, that might change a lot but overall they're expecting something that is what uh, that is when we want to really pay keen attention to the tropics so here we are friday the 18th this is what gfs is expecting as of the uh, the 12 z run today so uh the model is showing that by this time a tropical wave maybe a strong one will be on approach to the caribbean we're not seeing these closed black lines which are isobars for example go to the far left of your screen there is a 937 millibar system so the eastern pacific is very festive right now multiple disturbances likely to develop all given high chances to become tropical cyclones over there so by this time gfs is expecting a major hurricane off the coast of mexico so the more of those black uh, lines we see the more those isobars we see being tightly packed and that value getting lower that is indicative of strengthening but we're not 
not seeing such systems across the Atlantic. Uh, there is another tropical wave emerging that GFS wants to have developing. But then as we continue the following week, Monday, the 21st of the month, here we can see lots of moisture across parts of the Caribbean heading up into the Bahamas and uh, something else moving off Africa that other tropical wave continuing. We're not seeing much happening with it. But eventually, as we head to Friday of that week, the 25th of the month, here we have GFS showing a low pressure area developing in the northwestern Caribbean, very close to the Cayman Islands. Let's zoom in and take a closer look. Here we can see it. Uh, very interesting here. So it shows that there will be a tropical wave moving in, a low pressure area developing and making its way across Jamaica, heading to the Cayman Islands, bringing lots of rainfall. And this would not be surprising to see overall as we head to the latter of this run here we can see that the model doesn't show anything developed in the Caribbean lots of moisture still remain and maybe inducing lots of showers thunderstorms but there we see something over in the eastern Pacific as we head to the euro this is as we head out starting at the same time Friday of the coming week the 18th of August a tropical wave making its way across the Bahamas not seen too much happening for it but take a look at that one that is getting closer to the Caribbean that low pressure area developing now earlier this week euro was expecting that we could actually see a tropical depression maybe even a tropical storm approaching the caribbean but now uh we're seeing just this low pressure area maybe something trying to develop another tropical wave moving off africa there and as we head further out going to monday the 21st all this activity continuing across the caribbean and uh there is that high pressure now the high pressure it acts as a blockade. Tropical cyclones, uh, tropical waves, they can't just go through them. So they move along the periphery, uh, generally to the west until the opportunity is there for these systems to move to the west-northwest or the northwest. But typically with a weaker high pressure, we would have more systems missing the Caribbean. A stronger high steer storms more to the west. Uh, and that is how they affect the Caribbean. And another one which has entered the Gulf of Mexico, likely the one about to emerge off Africa, uh, heading into early this week as we zoom in here we can see that low pressure area just off haiti right there monday the 21st of the month and then as we head to tuesday that low pressure area crosses over jamaica into the northwest caribbean so along with gfs euro is also showing that we could see something in the caribbean and look over into uh, the gulf of mexico lots of moisture there and the reason i think we're not seeing much development in the gulf with that expected system from either GFS or Euro could be because of all the activity over in the Pacific. Now what typically happens during an El Nino is there is increased wind shear, that vertical wind shear which really helps to rip tropical cyclones apart. So with more activity over there, the wind shear is likely to be enhanced for the Atlantic. So that might play a role in the reason we're not seeing much because there isn't going to be a whole lot of dry air and the sea surface temperatures in the Gulf are off the charts. So that leaves wind shear so we're not seeing much expected from the euro which is good we do not need a major hurricane strike in the gulf coast so early on or at all this year but we have to recognize the fact that we're headed into the more active period and the probability will increase for such occurrence and so as we head to thursday the 17th going to canadian model right so now we can see uh that first tropical wave uh which is the one about to emerge continuing not seeing much happening with it and two more following behind trying to get themselves to Together. as we head to monday the 21st that first one moving over into the gulf so here we have this consistency among these three models that we could see something enter the gulf of mexico maybe try to develop in there again as i said the wind shear might kick up which could limit any intensification but there the model is showing a healthy storm just in the vicinity of the leeward islands another one some distance behind it and then as we head to the 22nd uh, the canadian model is going crazy about this four trop cyclones maybe out there in the Atlantic something developing in the Bay of Campeche a strong system 980 millibars indicative of maybe a hurricane and then another tropical storm well behind it another wave developing as it emerges from the coast of Africa now this is very interesting
interest in here as we go on to the icon model so icon is expecting that we're gonna have that tropical wave enter in the caribbean another one making its way off africa trying to develop as we head to friday and as we head to sunday of the following week the 20th here we see all this activity moving across the caribbean not seeing any organization but we do see that next tropical wave attempts to get itself together out there in the open waters of the atlantic so here we can see all of these models hinting at development and we see some sort of consensus some sort of agreement with some of them in terms of where we could see activity they all vary in terms of the potential strength and that is because we're talking about something some time out from now so what we're going to be seeing are these different changes as i said earlier the 18 zero and might very well be very different from what we're currently seeing and i'm here to keep you guys posted on all of it so that you're not caught off guard and something else that i want to share with you this is the typical track of systems as we head into august so we typically have storms coming from the atlantic maybe into the caribbean head into the gulf move north of the caribbean and try to go over into the gulf or they may move uh north of the caribbean and parallel the east coast before curving out to sea so this wouldn't be surprising to see and things are bound to get more active that dry air in association with the saharan earlier is going to decrease which will create a more conducive environment more moisture in order to allow for development of these systems guys so this video has been pretty lengthy but i really just wanted to go deep into what is happening what is expected and i'm going to be doing this a lot more often as things get a bit more certain in terms of what we could see happening and so i will continue to keep you posted as time goes by and that is pretty much it for this update i hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i will respond once i get the chance and as always remember to be weatherwise